here fam so to celebrate bella's birthday and 1 million subscribers we actually went on the disney cruise but the night before we stayed at the contemporary resort which is right across from magic kingdom and guys the room was so cute they put a little mickey towel for us and the theme of the room was the incredibles which you guys know we've dressed up like that for halloween before um, they had a cute little sign that said, Welcome to Mirror Family. Bella started to put all her dolls and toys on the sofa. And guys, the view. Oh my gosh, the view was so beautiful. You could see the castle. And right outside our room was the monorail. And as you could see, they were waving at us, saying hi. It was just so nice. And the food was a bussin', bussin'. Guys, the pizza, the chicken nuggets, the fries. Super Dad got a burger. It was delicious. Guys, right outside our balcony, you could see the fireworks from Magic Kingdom. It was so beautiful. Bella was literally screaming. She was just so happy. She couldn't believe the views from our room. So of course, Super Dad had to join in and just like admire the fireworks with the girls. I came in and they did a heart, which was so cute. I was literally like, I couldn't believe it. It was so nice. So the next morning, it was Bella's birthday. And if you guys missed that video, make sure to check it out where she opens all her gifts. Then the next morning, we drove an hour to the port, and when we got there, you could see the cruise from a mile away. And look where we are! <laughs> We're here! I don't know if you guys can see. I'm so excited. Once we got on the ship, they said our name. They said, welcome to Mir family, but they actually ended up saying it wrong. So I'm not going to add that part here. But you can see Cinderella with her Prince Charming and the cruise is just so beautiful. That's our room. And of course, we had to surprise Bella one more time. Oh my God. Look. What is it? Happy, it says happy birthday. Happy birthday. What do you think? It's a surprise. <laughs> Our room was Cinderella theme. I don't know if you guys have noticed. And yeah, I paid $100 and you get to keep the two pillowcases and the towel. It was definitely worth it to see Bella smile. So yeah, we ended up getting a balcony room. So the first thing we did was go to the balcony and sing Bella happy birthday with a cute little cupcake. She was so happy. You want some? You want some of this? Yes. Then we went to the Sail Away party, which was so much fun. It had so many characters, and you just get to dance while you set sail into the beautiful ocean. Then we went to the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique to reschedule Bella's appointment. She was supposed to do it the first night, but we ended up rescheduling for the last night because we didn't want to miss the Frozen show. But they were still so sweet and gave her some pixie dust. Bella, you look so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, and I like your doll. Thank you. Jasmine, you look beautiful. Thank you, too. So for Bella's birthday dinner, we got to eat at Arendelle, which is the frozen theme restaurant. It was so much fun because we got to meet Elsa, Anna, Olaf, Kristoff, all the amazing characters. And then you get to sing along to the songs, which is so much fun. Celebration, Captain Mickey yeah. Come. Happy birthday, Bella! Back to our room they had the funniest character with my glasses on they left us some chocolate and we ended the night in the atrium they do like where the chandelier changes color and everybody just lays down and watches it it's so magical <laughs> The next morning, we arrived at the Bahamas. We went and we got some delicious coffee. Look how cute. Of course, we had to get some breakfast. It was so yummy. 
gosh, I love how snuggly those look. <laughs> you must be having the best day ever. <laughs> Come on in if you like. Happy birthday! The best birthday ever. games went to go get ice cream and they were playing Rapunzel we dropped off Jasmine and Bella at the kids club and super dad and I got some relaxing time and then it was time to dress up as pirates oh my gosh we had so much fun on pirate night restaurant called 1923 um, it's like very fancy and Bella even brought her little doll she's like dressed up I'm gonna show you guys it's the cutest thing ever let me show you it's like dressed up and matching Bella Coloring. What are you guys coloring? We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. What did you order for dinner? Uh, as always, chicken like it's some fries. Well, yeah, chicken like got the filet mignon. And guys, once again, I am getting to the kids menu because every time I go to a fancy restaurant, I always end up eating like pizza from the kids menu because I'm very picky. So what are you getting? Uh, filet mignon. How's your food? Delicious. Like my catch up, my princess. Whoa. <laughs> After the pirate party, the girls wanted to go back to the kids club for a little while before bed. So Super Dad and I went to the super cool like Star Wars lounge.
making? You looking for shells? It is the moment we've all been waiting for. Bella goes to the bibbidi bobbidi boutique and transforms into a princess, even though she already is. <laughs> so her fairy godmother told her, Bella, choose whichever dress you think is perfect. And the dress that she wanted wasn't there, it was in the back. So it was Princess Jasmine because today was an Aladdin show, so it only made sense. Bella tried it on and she looked like a princess. So beautiful. Then her and her fairy godmother chose a hairstyle, which would be a ponytail, because you know, Jasmine wears a ponytail. And she was just talking to Bella the whole time, making her laugh. She got a wig and she told Bella, hmm, this would work as a beard. And then Bella thought that was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> And after that, she's like, that's not a beard. She's like, you're right. It's probably just a mustache. <laughs> and Bella was laughing so much. And then she finally put it as a ponytail. She put her these cute little flowers, which Bella actually didn't end up liking too much. She actually took them off after. She painted her nails, did her makeup. And the best part of all, guys, is she told her to make a wish. And I think we all know what Bella wished for. And hopefully one day that wish will come true. And But for now, she is the biggest warrior we know. So it was beautiful to see her turn into a real princess and it was time guys. She needed to turn around and look at the mirror and see herself for the very first time as a princess Jasmine. And ta-da! She loved it. She thought she looked so cute what she did. That her fairy godmother put her the most beautiful little necklace, a little ring to match. And after that, she actually taught her how to wave like a princess. So we went to go take some pictures and that's when Bella asked me to take off her little headband. <laughs> Guys, we were so sad to end our Disney cruise when we got back to the room there was a frame that Disney gifted us and yeah we just want to give a huge shout out to Samira which is the daughter of our amazing waitress um, well they were all amazing <laughs> and of course we want to give a very very special shout out to all of you we ran into so many of you guys you guys just kept coming up to us you're like are you guys Samira fam I watch you on YouTube I love your videos it was just so special to like be able to meet you guys and it was just a, a moment that we'll never forget and just like such a beautiful memory of like reaching a million subscribers and celebrating Bella's birthday definitely such a magical trip but guys don't worry our vacation doesn't end here after this we went to Disney World so make sure to stay tuned because part two will be our Disney trip um so yeah we can't wait to share with you guys all the memories we made at disney because we also ran into a lot more of you <laughs> i'm gonna add the pictures here and i'll add them in that video too just in case you miss one or the other but anyways thank you guys once again for helping us make our dreams come true we love you guys to the moon and back and after these two videos we will be hopefully announcing a winner for the giveaway so make sure to join if you haven't by subscribing to all our channels we love you guys to the moon and back bye guys